Hi, welcome to yet another video by me. That's right. All right, let's get straight into it. Which healer should you use for PVE? Short answer, all of them. None of them have any real weaknesses. They all have their strengths. They're all good. That's it. You want the long answer? Okay, here we go. As I said, they all have their weaknesses, but they also all have their strengths. So, if we get into a bit more specifics, I answered the question on one of my comments the other day, asking, he was asking which healer should you pick, Scoundrel or Trooper? Now, if we get into the uh, specifics, the Sorcerer technically is the easiest to play, and is the most buffed at the moment. Some people say it needs to be nerfed. But it's fine the way it is. The other healers just need a little bit of a buff. And. Uh, let's 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 get into a little bit. On, on how. Like what all their strengths and weaknesses are. So the Sorcerer. Has. Pretty high burst. Pretty high. Group heal. And really good defensives. So it's just a really good all-rounder. Uh, the rotation, if you can call that. The, he the healers don't really have a rotation, but it's really easy to play. You know, you can figure out pretty easily how to heal with it and when to use what. And, you know, you have your bubble and whatnot. It's just, it's, it's pretty OP at the moment. But the, you know, the other two are very close behind it. And, you know, you, there's no need to pick a healer above the other. Um, the trooper is the best in burst heals. It's better than the sorcerer, yes. Uh, the sorcerer has good burst heals, but not as good as the fucking uh, merc or the trooper. Uh, and the best thing about the trooper is because of the high burst heals... And if you spec into the correct thing, you can correct the mistake almost instantly. And what I mean, what I mean by that is, if uh, a tank fucks up or a DPS fucks up, and the uh, the whole raid takes damage, you can heal up one or two people, maybe even three, to completely full health in a matter of seconds. You know, uh, and that's the great thing about the the Merc slash Super is that they can just correct the mistake. You know. Um, And obviously, they have very good defensives and and whatnot. Now, the Scoundrel is definitely the hardest to play of all three of them. Uh, and the reason for that is it uses more dots or hots, you know, healing, healing over time. And you have to pay a lot more attention than the other two or on the ops group and always know who do I have my cuddle probs on. Uh, who am I healing right now? The burst heals aren't that good, so I have to use them wisely. Um, you know, who's about to take damage? I need to prepare for it. Kind of thing. It's just, it's it's in no way inferior to the other two. However, you do need to you have you, you need to have a tiny little bit more skill, and you need to have a lot more attention. You need to pay a lot more attention um, to the ops group. So. That was just a very quick overview, um, and it's again, it's a question people ask a lot. It's like, you know, which heal is the best, which DPS is the best, which tank is the best. Uh, I don't know about the other classes, but healers, they're all they're the same. Technically, the sorcerer is the quote unquote best, but I play all three. All three of them are fine, um, and yeah, just. You know, play whatever is your playstyle. You know, if you like stealth, play the the scoundrel operative. If you like, if you like uh, healing masses amounts in a quick time, take the merc or the trooper. If you just want to be an overall fucking god, then uh, take the sorcerer. I hope that I hope that helps a little bit. You know, I'm kind of just talking out of my ass a little bit. Uh, you know, 
Yeah. That, that's all I can think of at the moment. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you have any more questions, let me know. And yeah, all all healers are equal. <laughs>